Scene script. Have you ever wondered if eggshells are good for plants? It's a question that has been tossed around in gardening circles for many years, and it's time we shed some light on this topic. Eggshells. We all have them, and we all toss them away without a second thought. But did you know that these seemingly insignificant shells could potentially be a boon to your garden? That's right. These humble eggshells, often discarded as kitchen waste, have been creating a buzz in the world of organic gardening. Eggshell fertilizers have been hailed as the unsung heroes of the plant world. They are organic, readily available, and incredibly versatile. They're popular among garden enthusiasts, whether they're nurturing delicate orchids, robust tomatoes, vibrant indoor plants, or fragrant roses. But why eggshells, you ask? Well, it's all about the calcium. Eggshells are a rich source of this vital nutrient, which plays a crucial role in plant health. Calcium helps in building strong cell walls, promoting healthy growth. And guess what? Eggshells are about 95% calcium carbonate, making them an excellent natural calcium supplement for your plants. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the myths surrounding eggshell fertilizers. They're touted as a magic potion for all plant ailments, from preventing blossom end rot in tomatoes, to deterring pests, and even balancing soil pH. But are these claims mere myths, or is there some truth behind them? For instance, there's a popular belief that crushed eggshells can double up as a deterrent for slugs and other pests. The theory is that the sharp edges of the eggshells would be uncomfortable for the pests to crawl over. But does this really work? Or is it just a tall tale passed down through generations of gardeners? Another common perception is that eggshells can miraculously correct the soil pH, making it perfect for plant growth. But how accurate is this? Can these simple kitchen discards really influence something as complex as soil chemistry? But do eggshells really work wonders as they claim? Let's delve deeper into this topic. To understand the effectiveness of eggshells as a fertilizer, we first need to peek into their composition. Eggshells, contrary to their fragile appearance, are a powerhouse of nutrients. Predominantly, they are composed of calcium carbonate, which makes up about 95% of the shell. The remaining 5% is a mix of other minerals, such as magnesium and phosphorus, along with proteins. Now, you might be wondering, why is calcium so important for plants? Well, much like humans, plants too need a balanced diet to grow and stay healthy. And calcium, it plays a vital role in maintaining that balance. It fortifies the cells in a plant, strengthening its structure and ensuring that it stands tall and robust. It also aids in the process of cell division and growth, which is essential for the plant's overall development. But that's not all. Calcium also helps in the formation of the plant's cell walls and membranes. Without enough calcium, plants might experience stunted growth or even death. Moreover, this essential nutrient helps in the activation of certain enzymes, which further assists in the growth and reproduction processes of plants. What's interesting about calcium is that it's a non-mobile nutrient. This means that it doesn't move within the plant. If a plant is deficient in calcium, new tissues such as root tips, young leaves, and shoot tips will exhibit the deficiency first. And this is where eggshells come in handy. Being rich in calcium, they can help replenish this nutrient in the soil, ensuring that your plants have enough to thrive on. While calcium is the superstar in eggshells, let's not forget about the other minerals present. Magnesium, for instance, plays a crucial role in photosynthesis, while phosphorus is key for energy transfer in plants. Now that we understand the science behind eggshells, let's see how we can use them in our gardens. Before you start sprinkling eggshells all over your garden, there's a proper way to prepare them. Now let's get cracking on how to transform these humble kitchen scraps into a potent plant booster. First things first, you need to start collecting those eggshells. Whether you're a fan of scrambled eggs for breakfast or a baking enthusiast, don't let those shells go to waste. Every time you crack open an egg, keep the shell. Once you have a decent amount, it's time to clean them. You might be wondering why you'd need to clean something that's destined to be buried in dirt. Well, cleaning the shells helps remove any residual egg matter, which could attract pests or produce an unpleasant odor. So give them a good rinse under warm water. Now onto the drying part. Spread out the shells on a baking sheet or a piece of cardboard. Let them air dry naturally, or speed up the process by placing them in an oven set at the lowest temperature. The goal here is to make them brittle, which will make the next step a whole lot easier. Once the shells are bone dry, it's time to grind them into a powder. You can use a blender, a coffee grinder, or even a mortar and pestle if you're feeling a bit old school. The finer the powder, the easier it'll be for your plants to absorb the calcium. Remember, this isn't a race. Take your time to ensure the eggshells are thoroughly ground. What you're aiming for is a fine flower-like consistency. If there are still some larger pieces left, don't stress. They'll break down over time in the soil, and there you have it. You've just turned something that most people throw away into a nutrient-packed supplement for your plants. 
The best part? It didn't cost you a dime. With your eggshell fertilizer ready, it's time to learn how to use it. And that, my friends, is the beauty of repurposing and recycling. You're not only helping your plants, but also doing a small part to reduce kitchen waste. So keep those eggshells coming. Using eggshell fertilizer correctly is crucial to reap its benefits. So let's talk about how to do just that. Start by determining how much eggshell fertilizer you need. A good rule of thumb is to use roughly one tablespoon per plant. However, it's important to remember that this is just a guideline. The actual amount can vary depending on the size of your plant and its specific nutritional needs. Now let's talk about where to apply your eggshell fertilizer. Many people make the mistake of simply sprinkling it on top of the soil. However, this isn't the most effective method. Instead, try to incorporate the eggshells into the soil. This can be done by either mixing it in when you're potting your plants, or by gently working it into the top layer of soil around the base of the plant. This will ensure that the nutrients from the eggshells are more readily available to the plant's roots. When it comes to when to apply your eggshell fertilizer, there's no hard and fast rule. It's generally a good idea to apply it during the growing season when your plants are most in need of extra nutrients. However, you can also use it during the off-season to help replenish the soil's nutrient levels. Let's not forget about the types of plants that can benefit from eggshell fertilizer. Eggshells are high in calcium, a nutrient that's especially important for certain types of plants. For instance, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants are all known as calcium-hungry plants. These plants will greatly appreciate the extra boost of calcium that eggshells can provide. But that's not all. Indoor plants, roses, and even orchids can also benefit from a sprinkle of eggshell fertilizer. In conclusion, using eggshell fertilizer can be a great way to supplement your plant's nutritional needs. It's an organic, cost-effective, and sustainable solution that's easy to use. Just remember to apply it correctly and your plants will thank you. Remember, using eggshell fertilizer correctly is as important as preparing it. Let's recap what we've learned today about eggshell fertilizers. To begin, we debunked some common myths. Eggshell fertilizers, while beneficial, are not a cure-all for your plants. They provide a good source of calcium, but they can't replace a balanced nutrient mix. Also remember, not all plants crave calcium, so it's not always necessary to sprinkle your garden with crushed eggshells. We also delved into the science behind eggshell fertilizers. Eggshells are primarily made up of calcium carbonate, a natural compound that can enrich your soil and help certain plants like tomatoes, peppers, and roses thrive. However, eggshells don't dissolve quickly in the soil. Therefore, their nutrients are not immediately available to plants. It may take several months for the shells to break down and release their calcium. Next, we walked through the process of preparing eggshell fertilizer. It's quite simple, really. All you need to do is collect your eggshells, rinse them out, and let them dry. Then, you can crush them into a fine powder or leave them in larger pieces, depending on your preference and the needs of your plants. As for the correct usage of eggshell fertilizers, it's important to remember a few key points. First, use them sparingly. Too much of a good thing can be harmful. Second, mix them into your soil rather than leaving them on the surface. This way, as the shells decompose, they'll enrich the soil from within. And lastly, consider your plant's needs. Eggshells are great for calcium-loving plants, but if your green friends need other nutrients, make sure to supplement accordingly. And there you have it, the lowdown on eggshell fertilizers. It's incredible to think that something so often discarded can be repurposed in such a beneficial way. So. Next time you crack an egg, remember, you're not just making breakfast. You're also preparing a nurse.